Good evening, and a very Merry Christmas to you. I'm David Suchet, and I'm speaking to you direct from the BBC studios. I'm hugely excited to have been asked by the BBC to narrate tonight's amateur production of Peter Pan, performed by the recipients of this year's BBC Community Choice Award. So, before we begin, let's take a moment and meet the Cornley Polytechnic Drama Society. The Cornley Polytechnic Drama Society is an amateur theatre group. We're made up of people who do lots of different courses, but who come together in the evenings and at the weekends to create theatre. I am Chris. I am the director. I'm Robert. I'm the lead actor. I'm not the lead actor. Well, I'm the best actor. <laughs> You're doing it again. You're still doing it can understand you. It's right, so I've been working as a stage manager for Corny for about five years now. And what these so-called BBC professionals need to learn, that when we're live, it's my stage. Why were we selected? Hard work, talent, and our previous high-quality productions. <laughs> oh, and because of our cast member, Max, whose uh, aunt runs the BBC. Our strengths? Um, well, everyone's really keen. Hmm? Yeah, everyone's really committed. Yeah, it's been uh, good getting to know each other yeah. really well. And, you know, now we're really close. Yeah, really close. Robert's niece is playing the Lost Boy Tootles. She's quite nervous about being on live TV, but um, Robert's coaching her, so she'll be fine. Come on, oh. Lucy, more confidence. You're going to ruin Christmas. Just want to get through the whole thing without killing anyone. <laughs> That's your cue, Dennis. Can, can we get him an earpiece? Got a headset. Would it be noticeable? No. We are confident this pantomime will run smoothly. This is not a pantomime. <laughs> it is a traditional Christmas vignette. Oh no, it isn't. <laughs> Ah. Right, that's my cue. Here we go. See you on the other side. All children except one. Right. Oh. <laughs> All children except one grow up. Wendy discovered that she would grow up when she was at a picnic and her mother said the words, Oh, I wish you could stay like this forever. And then she knew. It is this very Wendy, along with her two brothers, Michael <laughs> and John, <laughs> who begin our story. <laughs> the setting is their bedroom on the third floor of a townhouse in Bloomsbury. Come along, boys. Stop playing around. It's time for you to get into your bed clothes. It's too early for bed, Wendy. You're turning into mother. <laughs> well, I should love to be like mother. Well, I shouldn't. That would be ever so dreary, Wendy. <laughs> John's right. I can't stand being cooped up in this boring old nursery. I'm four years old. <laughs> Every day can be an adventure, Michael. Now, it's time to get ready for bed. I can hear Father's footsteps. Has anyone seen my cufflinks? Oh, George, you are forever losing things. <laughs> Their father, George Darling, was a man of business. 
a little pompous, but with a kind heart. I have said he was are. far <laughs> less serene than their mother, Mary, darling, a genteel and elegant woman. I have said Although that sometimes <laughs> he forgot to show it. George loved them all dearly. I have searched the house high and low. I put the thing down for a moment and it is as if fairies have danced off with it. Oh, Father, I would so love to have fairies skipping about the house. I don't believe in fairies. Wendy, have you seen my cufflinks? No, Father. I mean, really. Is it me or is the world going mad? <laughs> in the drawing room, George. Perhaps Nana has seen them, Father. That creature is almost certainly the reason they are missing. Whoa! <laughs> Nana! Come, Come here, on, girl. Nana! Come on, Come on Nana! Let's go. I don't understand Nana. all this affection towards that dreadful animal. What about me? Where are my cufflinks? Perhaps Liza has seen them. The final member of the household was Liza, the Darling's housekeeper. Different in every way to Mrs. Darling. I found your cufflinks, Mr. Darling. <laughs> you left them on the dresser. A sweeter family you've never seen, with hearts as good as gold. And on this fateful evening, our story shall unfold. <laughs> Thank you, Liza. You have saved my evening. <laughs> now leave that beast alone, the three of you. We're only petting her, Father. <laughs> that dog needs to be taught some discipline. Now, all of you, time for bed and to take your medicine. Fetch the medicine bottle, Nana. When I was small, I was... <laughs> when I was small, I used to thank my mother and father for giving me medicine. I would say, thank, thank, I, thank, I, would say I would say thank you, kind parents, for giving me bottles to keep me well. <laughs> ah, here is Nana now. Bring me the medicine bottle, Nana. <laughs> Bring me the medicine bottle, Nana. <laughs> Thank you, Nana. Now fetch me a spoon. <laughs> Liza! Liza, take that wretched animal outside and chain her to her kennel. Come on, Nana! <laughs> outside! <laughs> Thank God that animal's gone. <laughs> What's all this commotion, George? Mary, my dear, nothing's wrong. The children were just getting into bed. Where's Nana? Liza locked her outside. But she protects the children. Protects them from what? The boy who visits this room. Oh, what nonsense. Mother and I saw him the other evening. He slipped away through the window. Mother ran to slam it shut before he could escape, but he was too nimble. The window shut, and we caught just his shadow, which started dancing across the room. <laughs> A dancing shadow? Oh, really? Whatever will you come up with next? I had Liza lock it in the chest. See for yourself, George. Liza has the key. I shall get Liza to fetch the key. Liza? Yes, Miss Wendy. <laughs> Have you the key to the chest? I shall fetch it at once. <laughs> Your cab's here, Mr. Darling. Excellent. Let's go down. <laughs> <laughs> Another cab, here, Mr. <laughs> Darling. Excellent. Let's go down. <laughs> A third cab, here, Mr. <laughs> Darling. Three cabs. One for Mary, one for me, and one for my. 
Pat, let's go downstairs. I shall fetch the key, Miss Wendy. Thank you, Liza. Mary, the cab's here. The cab's here. I shall fetch my shawl. Very good, Mary. Where is that maid? Liza. I found the key, Miss Wendy. <laughs> now I can show you the shadow, Father. Oh, Wendy, you really must grow up. There is no shadow. That'll be all, Liza. I don't have time for this. Please, look, Father. Mary, the cab's here. We shall be late. Oh, no! <laughs> the cab's here. Yes, I found my shawl. Very good. Come along, Mary. I'm going downstairs. Someone has to be grown up around here. <laughs> lights out. Make sure you all... Oh, oh. What is it, Mother? I thought I saw a face at the window. Nothing there. Right, then. <laughs> Must be my imagination. Won't you sing as a lullaby, Mother? Oh. No, Dennis. Speak with feeling, for God's sake. <laughs> no! 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 Don't repeat that, you idiot! <laughs> of course, my sweet. Beautiful, Mother. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Mother, can anything harm us when the nightlight is lit? Nothing precious. <laughs> they are the eyes a mother leaves behind to guard her children. Mother, 
You look pretty tonight. Are you tucked in, Michael? Yes, Mother. Are you comfortable? <laughs> yes, Mother. And you, Wendy? Yes, Mother. <laughs> that protect my sleeping babes burn clear and steadfast tonight! Thank heavens I didn't wake the children. <laughs> Tinkerbell? Tink? Where are you? Have you found my shadow? Do you know where they put it? <laughs> there you are. Do you know where they put it? Are you ready, Tink? Don't let it startle you. It's time to get my shadow back. Don't let it dance away. to stick you back where you belong. I'll stick you back on with soap. Boy, why are you crying? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not crying. What's your name? Wendy Moira Angela Darling. What's yours? Peter Pan. What are you doing? I'm trying to stick my shadow back on. <laughs> you can't stick a shadow back on with soap. It must be sewn. What is sewn? I shall show you. <laughs> there, it's done. Why don't you try it? Wendy, it's done. Look, look. Oh, the cleverness of me. I'll give you a kiss if you like. Thank you. Don't you know what a kiss is? I shall know when you give it to me. <laughs> and now shall I give you a kiss? If you please. Not on stage. <laughs> An acorn. I shall wear it on a chain around my neck. <laughs> How old are you? I don't know. Quite young. I ran away... Th <laughs> I ran away the day I was born. Ran away? Why? I'll tell you for why. I heard mother and father story. talking of what I was to be when I was a man. I want always to be a little boy and to have fun. So I ran away to Kensington Gardens and lived a long time among the fairies. <laughs> You know fairies, Peter. Yes, but they're nearly all dead now. Children know such a lot now. Soon they don't believe in fairies. And every time a child says, I don't believe in fairies, there's a fairy somewhere that falls down dead. <laughs> you can fly! Of course I can <laughs> Of course I can fly! No, no, no! no. Did you learn to do that? In Neverland. I fly everywhere with my friends, the Lost Boys. How thrilling. Wendy, come away with me to Neverland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, I mustn't. Think of Mother. Besides, I can't fly. I'll teach you. Oh, how lovely to fly. <laughs> but is it far? Not far at all. Just the other side of the stars. Would you teach John and Michael to fly too? Of course. 
They're off stage right now. What's wrong with you? Splaying me in the face like that. <laughs> Not again! John, Michael, wake up. There is a boy here who is to teach us to fly. Uh, fly? Huh? I should love to fly. He uh. shall take us. I say, can you really fly? Look! Oh. Oh. oh, my, how do you do it? It's simple. You just need your happiest thoughts and a little bit of fairy dust. Fairy dust? How delightful. <laughs> Are we all ready to fly? Just think of a lovely, wonderful thought and it will lift you into the air. One, two, two three! three. We're flying! I feel light as air. to the window. Come on, Tink. Second to the right and straight on till morning. Here we go. No. Come on, boys. Just believe and you can fly. So we arrive in the forests of Neverland, a world of infinite wonders. So as Peter flies with Wendy and the fairy Tink draws near, our tale shall continue and I shall disappear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wendy, look, we're here. Hello, Tootles. <laughs> Lucy, you are doing this. Pete. Pete. Peter. I have. I have to, 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 to tell. I have to tell you something. <laughs> Oh, yes. What is it you have to tell us, Tootles? <laughs> Captain Hook has kidnapped Tiger Lily! <laughs> he has? Then we must rescue her. She is our friend, after all. Tink, go and find where they've taken her. Um, 
Thank you, Tootles. Oh, Peter, you play beautifully. Yar! Yar! Pirates, quickly, into the hideout! <laughs> Yar! Yar! <laughs> sound of a deserted forest. <laughs> a cab. Captain, we shall find the lost boy's ass. You're listening to BBC Radio 3. <laughs> that was a violin control in E minor by you, Henberg. If you find the lost boys at the Mermaid's Lagoon, you may be right, Smee. I'm loving angels in Spain <laughs> and through it. Thank you, oh, Mr. Oh, Smee. Oh. Most of all, I want Peter Pan, but he cut off my arm, Starky. Exactly. <laughs> And flung my arm to a crocodile that happened to be passing by. <laughs> Followed around ever since, Captain Hook. That he has, me. That he has! By lucky chance, it swallowed a clock, Captain. So before it can reach you, you hear the tick-tock and bolt. What are you doing with your pistol out, Mr. Smee? I wouldn't want to be caught unawares, Captain. <laughs> Put that thing away, Smee! Or I'll strike you down with my hook! <laughs> Put that thing away, Smee. I'll strike you down with my hook. I'm Hook. You're Smee. I'm John. You're Smee. <laughs> but soon I shall have the foolish boy within my grasp. Ah, revenge is a grand thing. Oh, no, it isn't. <laughs> Yes, it is. Oh, no, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, no, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. Yes, it is. Of course, it is. This is not a pantomime. Oh, yes, it is. Shut up. Don't boo me. How would you like it if I booed you? Is it? <laughs> but hold, men, what's this? <laughs> A cat! Oh no, it is! Yes, it is! Yes, it is! I don't know why it is, but it is! Also, there's this! <laughs> Something strange! Smoke coming out of this tree stump! <laughs> <laughs> Chimney cotton. Listen, men. It is plain Pan and the lost boys live here among the trees and underneath the ground. <coughs> you see these tracks <coughs> down to the shore, men. Aye, cotton, the seal clear as day. Follow them back to the Jolly Roger. Go, Tiger Lily, to the lagoon. Put her on the Luna's Rock and nab Pan. <coughs> ah, <sorry>. ah, <coughs> ah. Get off. Go. No, go. Just get out of it. <coughs> A vast belay when I appear, my fear there overtook. <laughs> Knots left upon your bones when you've shaken claws with hook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so the dastardly pirates set off with evil intent. What is this place? This is Maruna's Rock. Tink said that the pirates will be bringing Tiger Lily here. Yo-ho! Yo-ho! 
here they come. Hold. M. Penrope and a A for David Jones. Yeah! Oh, it is good to be upon the water, me lover. Now we must follow the captain's orders and... Uh, <laughs> and hoist Tiger Lily on the rock and leave her there to drown. Any last words, Tiger Lily? <laughs> These words shan't be my last, as Peter Pan shall save me. This is a terrible show <laughs> of cowardice, Tiger. <laughs> we thought you'd put up more of a fight. Brave men do not sneak upon defenseless girls. You are true cowards. You can't act. In this way, when the captain arrives, you have a sharp tongue now, but you shall tremble at the sight of Hook's impressive arse. <laughs> Sano of weapons, back aboard the Jolly Roger. Poor Tiger Lily. Help her, Peter. Of course I shall. I'll impersonate Hook. Watch. Ahoy there, you lovers! Tis the captain. He must be rowing out to us. Just putting Tiger Lily on the rock, Captain. Release her, you blithering imbeciles. Cut her free. Aye, Captain. I'll cut her free. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> 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 Down you, cut her free. I don't know what to say. Just give me the suit. What is a suit? He just saw me dripping in the food. What are you talking about? Nonsense. Here he comes, rowing out to us now. Action! <laughs> Where's Tiger Lily? We let her go! Let her go? Twas your orders, Captain! You're blundering blockheads. I said no such thing. <whistles> Only pedalos on the lake. Uh, you didn't give the orders. Who did? <laughs> Perhaps it be the dark spirit that haunts this here lagoon, Starkey. Six o'clock, park's closed. Oh, come on! Spirit, Captain. <laughs> Legend says this lagoon is haunted by the ghosts of drowned sailors. Oh. Hello, Chris. Step ashore, Captain. I shall. <laughs> it is. Dost hear me? I hear you. Who are you, stranger? Speak. I am James Hook, 
captain of the Jolly Roger. Oh, no, you are not. Oh, yes, he is. No, he's not. <laughs> he's not. <laughs> What's that noise, Captain? A ticking clock. Tis the crocodile. Ah. Oh, there. Ah. Ah. Snap, snap, snap. If you are Hulk, then who am I? A card fee. Cut, and that will do. We are done for the day. All right, Robert, I'll pack up Robert, the... Uh... I, I wanted to uh, talk to you about something. What? It's about Jonathan and Sandra. <laughs> He's playing Peter Pan and she's playing Wendy. They shouldn't be sleeping together. He's supposed to be the boy who wouldn't grow up, not the boy who couldn't keep it in his pants. And she's just as bad flirting with everybody. Oh. It's no wonder that Max is obsessed with her. Yes, that's why he wanted to play Peter, <laughs> to get closer to her. But Max can't act! Mm. He's terrible as Michael. And the crocodile, he's playing it like a mammal. I know, Robert, but we need his aunt. Yeah. She runs the BBC. It's mm. the only reason he's here. What a loser. <laughs> oh, left the microphone on. Oh. Tis Peter Pan! Tis I! Vain glorious boy, I shall split your bones with my hook. Nothing ever hurts me! I'm Peter Pan! And but Oh, no! Don't stop! No! Come on! 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 But I would be an awfully big adventure! What? <laughs> What's happened? It just fell out of the thing. What? I fell out. Just keep Why? it. What? Keep it going, keep it going! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, but we seem to have a slight difficulty here. Um, uh, many of you may have noticed that Peter Pan took a rather nasty, unrehearsed fall there. Obviously, he wasn't thinking his happy thoughts. <laughs> Quickly, bring him through. <clears throat> There's also a lot of blood. Anyhow, I'm sure Peter Pan's injuries will be less severe than those sustained in a production of Oliver the Musical, in which I appeared many years ago now. In the number, Boy for Sale... Yeah. <laughs> boy, boy for sale? <laughs> Our over-enthusiastic Mr Bumble tripped backwards onto one of the frailer workhouse children, <laughs> crushing him. <laughs> See, regrettably, my car was parked in the ambulance bay, <laughs> and, and that prevented the paramedics from getting to the poor child, and very sadly, he passed away. <laughs> and I... <laughs> I can't help but feel partially responsible for this tragic <laughs> event because it was, as I say, it was my car that stopped medical aid getting to the poor child, but also because... <laughs> I was playing Mr Bumble. <laughs> Anyway, I think we're ready to begin again. <laughs> so, back to Neverland. I hear this evening's meal is imaginary. So, it can be anything you want it to be. 
Anything? Anything. You can have steak or salami. You can have chestnuts or cheese. The only thing to remember is the magic word. What? Please. So I can have anything I can think of? Of course. I could have a lobster or lettuce. <laughs> you could have pastry or pies. I could have dumplings or damsons. Your taxi has arrived. <laughs> give and take, then we can make whatever we can conceive. With faith and trust and fairy dust and the world of make-believe. Wendy, where's Peter? This is Neverland, Michael. He could be anywhere you want him to be. He could be fighting off pirates. <laughs> or chasing... <laughs> I could be a steam engine driver Or a sailor at sea You could be a prince fighting dragon. Cut to camera three <laughs> I'll be a warrior winning the war I'll be a lawyer learning the law I'll be a pastor protecting the poor Teletubbies, Teletubbies <laughs> Give and take, then we can make Whatever we can conceive With faith and trust and fairy dust With sticks and stones and bags of bones With ups and downs and all arounds With hops and skips and broken bits <laughs> Trust and fairy dust and the world of make believe and the world of make believe. I wish we could stay here forever. Michael, you must not forget that we have a mother and father waiting for us back at home. Oh, I hear Peter outside. Quickly, all of you, you know how he likes you to meet him at the door. <laughs> Peter enters. Peter, you're back. Any adventures, <laughs> Peter? Um, Battle with two tigers and a dozen pirates. How exciting, Peter. Uh, I, I love adventures, Wendy. Peter flies around the room showboating and full of mirth. Oh, Peter! No one flies better than you. <laughs> I, I, I shall tell you my tale. Peter lands nimbly. <laughs> this all sounds wonderful, but first you must have your dinner. Um, um, Pe Peter begins to eat Tinkerbell. <laughs> um, seems, seems most unhappy, Wendy. Perhaps she is angry with me. Fairies have... To... Don't hold the other because being so small, they have the only one feeling at a time. Oh, I fear she is jealous of me. <laughs> Not never hurts me, I'm piece of pan. <laughs> um, Peter flies up onto the table. <laughs> to die would be an awfully big
walk away. <laughs> When you die, you fly over the waters and the stars guide your way. Oh, Peter. I do so love adventures, Wendy. <laughs> Sound cue recording 21, Pan Pipes. Take one. <laughs> oh, hello, Max. Sorry, I, I just wanted to ask about Peter Pan again. Max, we have been over this. You're playing Michael Darling and the Crocodile. But no one likes the Crocodile and Peter gets to do all the fun stuff. <laughs> Like kissing Sandra? Remember, she's in a relationship. I think I'm in love with Sandra. She's my soulmate. Max, I need to finish recording the panpipes. Sorry. Note, don't use take one. began to understand it was time for her, John and Michael to fly home from Neverland. Peter, if you would come back with me, I'm sure my mother and father would adopt you. No, Wendy. I flew home once to see my mother and I found that the windows were barred and she'd forgotten all about me. And there was another little boy asleep in my bed. In that case, I must leave at once and you must kiss me goodbye, Peter. <laughs> oh, Peter, I meant a real kiss. Uh, a real kiss? Don't you know what a real kiss is? N no, I, I do not. Then I will show you. <laughs> this is a real kiss? Yes, Peter, a real kiss. <laughs> to go now. No fuss, no blubbering. I hope your mother's happy to see you all again. Be careful you don't run into pirates or that crocodile that nobody likes. <laughs> but little did Peter, Wendy or the Lost Boys know that Hook lurked among the trees and his men kidnapped the children. <laughs> I'll grow up. <laughs> With them all captured, Hook crept into the clearing, and with stealth, cunning, guile and craft, he added poison to the medicine draught. <laughs> now, where is Peter Pan? <laughs> where is Peter Pan? <laughs> I know he's behind me! I directed the show! I told him to go there! You have to let me find him! Idiots! Where is Bill? Oh, there he is! Medicine! Poison. Ha <laughs> ha! 
with you people! This is a serious play! Thank God, Ace! You're ruining it! Yes, you are! Let me do it. Wendy? Oh, Tink. Tinkerbell? What's the matter? Wendy and the boys captured by pirates. I'll rescue her. Where's my dagger? Oh! <laughs> that? That's just my medicine. Poisoned? Who could have poisoned it? I promised I would drink it, and I will. <gasps> no! That's my medicine, not yours, and for me, no. Peter Pan, not the Tinkerbell the Fairy. No, 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 stop, no, 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 stop drinking no, 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 Tinkerbell! No, 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 no. Tink? Tinkerbell? Tinkerbell. <laughs> Tink, are you, Tink, are you all right? Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, Annie, 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 Annie. It's Chris. 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 Chris, 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 put on the back, put on the back. <laughs> Watch your wings, watch your wings. Watch your wings. She spilled this. Electrocuted. <laughs> Who's the first aider? Who's the first aider? <laughs> She's the first aid. She'll be executed. Prepare for an execution. David! David! What? Call an ambulance and move your car. <laughs> David, do you have something to cover? What? You're the professional cover! Mesdames et Messieurs, <laughs> it is not very usual for Poirot to be so near to the catastrophe. Thank you, David. We have to b believe in fairies. Not now, Lucy. This is serious. <laughs> Wendy, come on, Tink, to the pirate ship. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's hook or me this time. Stop the revolt! Stop the revolt! You look crazy, you look crazy, you look beautiful, you look beautiful! On the seven seas, what better life is there? Scarlet bones, a merry out a hempen rope and a hay for Davy Jones. Come on! Shut up! 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 Shut Sandra, no, 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 you don't understand, no, Sandra, 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 just let me explain, Sandra, Sandra, she came on to me, she came on to me, Sandra, It is. <laughs> Nothing sounds alive. <laughs> a cab! Why is there a cab in the sea? <laughs> Revenge will soon be mine. Save us, Peter! Quiet, you dogs, and I'll cast anchor in you. <laughs> now, will you join my crew? or die in the light of the full moon. We shall none of us ever be pirates. Is that so, my dear? <laughs> It'll be the plank for you, then. <laughs> Ace me. Dennis, you're wearing the wrong costume. Get the plank ready, Mr. Kekko. <laughs> Bring the first prisoner to the plank, Mr. Starkey. I come. Oh, be brave, Tootles. Uh, <laughs> Tootles, come. Tootles. There's none can save him now. There's one. Tis I, Peter Pan, the Avenger. Ah. I'll save you. Ah! Oh. Pan! Peter! Snap. Hook, Snap. The crocodile is here. Snap. He knows your end is near. <laughs> Snap. 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 Surround them. This one's mine. Dark and sinister man. Have at thee. Here. Ah. Not again! Get back here, Pan! Keep going! Stay Jesus! Kids, what is the term given to a person or group illegally distributing copyright material for personal profit? 
pirates. The BBC has confirmed the cancellation of its community choice project. You're a hero. Uh, but I'm not Peter. I'm the crocodile. his crew, devoured by the crocodile. Snap, snap, snap. Wendy, of course, had stood taking no part in the fight, though now she watched her hero with glistening eyes. And when he slept that night, she held him tight. <laughs> and now, sadly, it is time to bring an end to our tale, for we must leave Neverland, Peter, and Tinkerbell. <laughs> and return to that home from which three of our characters had taken flight so long ago. Liza sat by the window and on seeing the children ran to fetch Mrs. Darling. <laughs> The crocodile found the window open. Mr. Darling came rushing in from the yard to celebrate the homecoming of his dear ones. <laughs> there could not have been a lovelier sight, but there was none there to see it, except for a strange boy who was sitting at the window. <laughs> the children, Mr. and Mrs. Darling, and the crocodile yeah. stood together, united in their newfound bliss. And perhaps it was at this moment they all realized that to live would be an awfully big adventure. Three, two, one. 